uh, Michael Piotz, field mechanic for the Northern District. Worked here for almost 13 years. Normally get up about five o'clock in the morning, you know, get to the office about six, and our, our normal work schedule is six to six. Check my computer, see what's going on, run through some things, call some uh, rigs to see what they've got going on, if there's any issues or problems we need to address. Say uh, we're looking at doing that ST80 today. We'll probably head up that way, and then I'll get with you when we get there, and we'll get that switched out. Okay. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Replacing an ST80 is a little bit of a project. A lot of rigging, you know, you have to really watch uh, what's going on and uh, all the people, you know, involved. So you really need to pay attention and work as a group. We're going to be lifting it from the lifting eyes, you know, right here. Pins and bushings have a lot of wear in them. It's time for just to come in and get rebuilt. Make sure I'll pick up all my parts in the morning. Whichever rig needs most attention at that time could be anywhere, you know, it doesn't really matter. Just get in the truck and go. I went to school for hydraulics in uh, Wichita Falls, Texas. My folks were living here in Dickinson, North Dakota, so I moved back here. Uh, Corey Arch, my boss now, was coming in for parts one day at the hydraulic shop and he said, hey, we're looking for a field mechanic. Would you be interested in that? And I said, well, possibly. And once he told me the work schedule was two on and two off and the kind of money we'd be looking at, well, it was a no brainer. Then we'll have a strap on the two eyes right here. I know pretty much all of the rig managers and drillers and most of the rig hands. So being a field mechanic, I usually go around to all of the rigs in this district. Yeah, because we can set it down and then possibly get the uh, loader on it, attached to it while it's still hooked up. That to me seems comfortable. To so. that, way, yeah. that way it's basically tied off 100%. If the S80 starts to swing, just stand back, let it do what it's going to do. Because you're not going to stop it at 6,600 pounds. One of the things I kind of enjoy is that, you know, it, it changes every day. You're never going to see the same thing. It's constant adventure. That's one way to put it. <laughs> when you go to your job and you do your job proficiently and care for your work, it also lets you enjoy your work. Oh, that landed perfect. And enjoy people around you. People enjoy you at the same time. I think it's working. <laughs> Did it. So we're going to take the old ST80, set it over by the new one, so we can rig up the sling onto the new ST80 and switch the hoses and caps. People get, tend to get along better. They feel more like a, a family in a way. Kind of happy in a way to come to work, you know, sometimes, because you, you, you miss your friends at, at work. You're spending half your time with the people that are here versus half your time at home with your family. That's good.